In the last episode, you guys saw me take delivery of my Autech version 260 RS. And in this video, you guys are gonna see me mod it. So let's get right into it. All right, we made our way over to Up Garage. I've actually been to this one already. Actually in 2019, I came here with TJ and Calvin. They had a lot of good stuff. So I'm hopeful that we can find some cool stuff for the Stasia, but it is kind of a rare car. So maybe we won't find <laughs> too much. Only one way to find out, let's head in. She is 50 bucks, not even. It's gonna be like $35. WG, WGN C34, RB25, which doesn't matter. It's not, doesn't matter about the engine. So, this is the rear strut bar, and my panel is already cut, so we're gonna go ahead and swoop this up. our rear strut bar for the Stasia to fill those holes that were cut in the panels. And then we got a HKS downpipes. So we're gonna throw these in the wagon. We're gonna go over there and check out the uh, wheel shop. They also have a bunch of used wheels. See if we can find something cool for the wagon. Well, I'm grabbing Mickey and me a drink while he is out looking at wheels. And hopefully he'll have purchased something by the time I am done. Service bay over here. Up garage is pretty awesome. Oh, he's got a smile on his face. Does that mean you got something? Found the wheels for the Stasia. What'd you get? I actually found some Advan RSs, like one of my favorite wheels of all time. Seriously? Yes in chrome <laughs> how'd you find those <laughs> they have lots of wheels here like wow. a lot wow, you just wow. missed it <laughs> <laughs> well sorry fam let's go load these up Wait. this is the best trip ever it's like christmas every day on this trip We've got all of our parts that we're gonna be putting on this car laid out. We're gonna walk through those real quick for you guys. So let's check it out. To start off, we've got a set of wheels and tires. This is a set of wheels that I've wanted my whole life. I finally found a set and uh, we're gonna to toss those on. We have not received the tires yet. Now I bought these and they came with tires. Unfortunately, because this is all wheel drive, this tire setup won't work because this is a 1718 Stagger, which to me is a perfect period correct fitting for this car. You guys are gonna have to wait to see that because we're not gonna be able to put those on in this video. Maybe later in the video, so you have to stick around at the end. But I'm excited because I think this is the perfect fit for this car with the chrome finish and all the chrome trim on it. We went ahead, we didn't spare any expense. We got a set of Olin's DFVs for this car. These are custom made for the Autech version 260 RS. Most of the stuff is in the boxes. You have to assemble them yourself. They don't come pre-assembled. So we'll be doing that in this video today and we'll show you guys how that works. These are our top hats and a couple other bits that go along with the Olin's DFV suspension. Down here we have a Pioneer head unit and this is basically something that we wanted to get. It's a nine inch screen. It's gonna allow us to travel around Japan in comfort with Siri and CarPlay. Aside from that, we've got a throttle shift knob. This is a new shift knob that we're launching. So if you guys are uh, looking to get a new shift knob, this one's really cool. This is Delrin and it uses our existing collar. So if you already have a throttle shift knob, you can just buy the collar unthread your old shift knob and put the new one on. So back here we have a slew of GK Tech suspension bits. Some of this stuff can be installed, some of it cannot due to shocking. And the fact that this is basically a rental car to me while I own it in Japan, in order for me to drive it and enjoy it, it has to be registered as a rental car. And it has to pass shocking in order to do that. So some of this stuff is not compliant. And I didn't know that before I ordered it. So a huge shout out to GK Tech for sending me the stuff that I need to make these wheels and tires fit properly. Some of this stuff will find its way on the car. The remainder of it will get installed in California once the car returns home. Moving on, I have a set of Ganador mirrors. I found these on Yahoo Auction in Japan a few months ago and had them shipped out here. They do need to be refinished. And again, because they're shocking, I cannot install these just yet. They have to have power folding mirrors. And these are power, but they don't fold. We also have the factory roof rails. These actually came with the car, believe it or not. 
lot, but the previous owner, if you guys watched the first 260Rs video, I showed you that they removed them and they created some patch panels to cover up the holes where these go. I'm actually more uh, interested in the car without those. Uh, I think it looks much better without it. So. These will just get shipped back to California and put in storage. One thing that I'm really excited about is this exhaust. Now, mind you, it has not been cleaned up. This is straight off of Yahoo Auctions Japan. It still has the Japanese dirt all over it. It was never cleaned up. It is a Waldina Nismo Stasia exhaust. This is a pretty rare item, and it's in pretty fantastic condition for being 25 years old. And a couple other goodies that I found on Yahoo Auctions Japan was the rear cargo cover here. So that goes in the back of the car, and when you put packages back there, you can pull that closed, and so nobody can see inside the car what you have. And we also have the cargo net. So these are things I've found. A lot of times people have these cars, they take these out of the car and put them in the garage, and they sell the car, and then these things get left behind. This car did not have them, so I wanna have all the accessories for this car I can. So I've been looking through my magazines, and I found out that these were part of the car, so I bought them. Sato from Top Rank Japan is actually gonna help me today, so I got a really cool helper. He is a GTR enthusiast and expert. Uh, he, if you guys watch Dustin Williams' channel, you've seen Sato before. He's helped Dustin work on his R34 and a few other cars that he has. And uh, he's just a wealth of knowledge and a super big help for me. So we're gonna get this thing knocked out and then go enjoy the car. If you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe to the Throttle YouTube channel and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss an episode. Sato and I were gonna work on the suspension together, but since we're running out of time today, we're gonna divide and conquer. So I'm gonna be doing the head unit and some of the interior amenities that we wanted to add while Sato actually installs our Olin's DFV coilovers and some of our GK Tech parts. So while he's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and get the dash pulled apart. I've never done this before, so it's a bit of a learning experience and uh, get this Pioneer nine inch head unit installed. Oh, what? What? Look what I just found. What? Seriously, come here. Look at this. Spooky. Oh. This was nice. underneath. Nice. Where was it? In here. Key done spare key. Okay, so this is the. I was wondering why the car didn't have this key because I heard that Sweet. the Stasia comes with the. My dad. Oh, it works. Battery still Kidding. good? Yeah. Oh, that's a nice find. So. This was underneath where it shouldn't have been. That's cool. I'm getting into this now, uh, getting it all disassembled, but uh, let's check out what Sato is up to. Sato is just out there kicking ass. Meanwhile, I'm in here putting the stereo in. He's already got our GK Tech spacers on, our Olin's DFVs, our stock wheels and tires back on because unfortunately our tires did not show up in time from the mainland US. We're just gonna throw the stock wheels and tires back on for now with the GK Tech spacers behind them to make it look a little more aggressive and give it a better look. But it's still gonna look pretty OE, which is kind of exciting. We're really kind of jumping into mods on this car. We haven't really experienced it too much yet. So I think this is a good, a good method and then we'll get the uh, Advans mounted up at a later time with the proper tires. Big boy. <laughs> so as per always, gonna get rid of the cigarette lighter cause we don't smoke in our cars. And we're gonna add a voltmeter with a fast charger for iPhone and USB charger port. 
That's gonna go there. It'll help modernize the interior a little bit too. That's what I like about these. If you guys are interested, these are also available on Amazon. Super cheap, it's like 15 bucks. And you always know what your voltage is on your battery, which is really nice to have handy. Oh. Yasuke, what is all this? This is a ETC, so you know, for Japanese highway, you have to pay for it. Mm -hmm. But if you have this one, put the card in it, you can like pay later. So you just drive through? So you through just drive through it. It senses Otherwise, it. Otherwise, you have to stop every, fast, fast, every fast, payment. It's okay, like a fast so the fast pass. Yeah, okay. fast pass. Oh. 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 Miki san Yeah. Oh. Thank you. All right, well, Sato's down there knocking out the suspension. I've got our Pioneer head unit in, and I've also installed. Well, you can't really hear it, but. So this is a called an ETC, Electronic Toll Collection System. And so we're gonna mount this in the car. We need it while we're driving around uh, Japan to pass through the toll areas a lot easier. So I installed that while we installed our voltmeter and our uh, quick charger here for our phones. And then as you can see here, we've got our head unit all completely installed as well. And it's functioning, which is cool. I gotta set the time and everything, but I've already got the, got the phone hooked up to it. Check, the maps are working in Japanese, which is amazing. What's cool about the Pioneer units that I love, and I put these in all my right hand drive cars is you can flip the screen so it can go left or right hand drive which is really dope i'm gonna leave the shift knob off because i'm gonna be putting a different shift knob in here later on once we get this thing on the ground as you can see i'm kind of waiting to get down so i'm about uh six feet in the air right now so just a moment i will be able to jump out and i can show you guys all the work that sato has been doing while uh, i've been up here doing this Hi I made it. Now I've just got some more items that we're gonna put on. We're gonna put on a windshield visor, uh, a couple of throttle decals. I've got the VIN plate I wanna put on. Now that Sato is done, we can... Oh, and we have some stock parts, like the cargo cover and the cargo net. All right, well, this is one thing that I need to talk about because this is a product that we make at Throttle and we're adding this one to the site very soon. And this is cool because we make the collar the same for all of our shift knobs. So it looks like this, has a nice Throttle logo laser etched on it. And what's cool is you buy it for your particular vehicle and you never have to change it. You can just update the, the shift knob itself. So you just tighten that down, place the logo where you want, tighten this M6 and then put this guy on. A couple of things I bought off of Yahoo Auction Japan just to complete the car was the cargo cover as I showed you and then this net which folds down and uh, actually makes a partition so that stuff doesn't fall forward. But it's really cool how it suspends up here and you can use it to sort of store things up above. Pretty and cool. you can still see yeah. rear view mirror. So one of the things I love about these type of cars is how versatile they are and how many cool aftermarket accessories, they're not aftermarket, how many OEM accessories are available for them. So this is a cool one for me, I'm glad I have it. Uh, probably never gonna use it, but to be able to have it in the car and if this car ever moves on to a new owner, they're gonna have all the cool stuff that was optional through the dealer, which is really neat. All right, I got a few stickers I wanna put on and we're gonna call it a day. It's a new day. Last night was so fun at Daikoku Futo uh, parking area. We had 
met a lot of uh, throttle fans and subscribers, which is really awesome. Uh, it's neat to see people following us in other countries and stuff uh, and meet them face to face. Really awesome. Met a great group of Stasia owners last night as well and learned a lot about the car. But this morning, we are actually on our way to Makuhari where we're picking up some tires that I had to order for the new wheels. Uh, it took a couple days to get them, so we've been driving around with these <laughs> with these uh, Advans in the in the back of the wagon for a couple days. And uh, today is the morning where we're gonna get them put on. So we're stopping at Top Rank Makuhari where they do uh, vehicle service, mounting and balancing, and uh, Yaska is meeting us here. So we're running just a few minutes late. So I'm gonna get this thing parked. We're gonna run in and uh, get these wheels and tires mounted up. We'll see you guys in just a second. All right, we made it to Makahari where we're at one of Top Rank's other facilities. And of course, Yasuka met us here uh, because we're gonna put our tires on. All right, well the top rank boys are taking off the tires that came on the wheels from Up Garage. And unfortunately, we can't be using these. They're great tires, they're actually in really good shape and I'm pumped about them, but uh, one, I run Falcons on all my cars, so they aren't Falcons, so that's one issue. The other issue is, because it's an all-wheel drive car, we have to have the same OD, or outside diameter, on the tires so that we don't screw up the center diff on this car. It's an expensive uh, repair, so we don't want to do that. So I ordered some Falcons and Yasuka was able to source those for me through Japan. Falcon and have them delivered here. So that's why we brought the car to this location. It's a little central for us where we're staying instead of going all the way back out to ATB as he mentioned earlier. We had to make a quick stop over at Auto Box. Luckily there's an Auto Box just like, uh, I don't know, five minutes from Top Rank's uh, Makuhari location. We needed open-ended lug nuts. So unfortunately the, stu the factory studs are too long for the Advans. So Luckily, there's an auto box here. We're gonna run in and see if they have some open-ended lug nuts for us. Maybe they've got some Nismo ones. Who knows? We're gonna check it out. All right, we actually found something that might work. And a thin wall socket some glass cleaner and some towels because the windows are filthy. So are the wheels. So just wanted to get some stuff so we can clean the car up a little bit. These are not gonna work, but we're gonna have to go back and cut the tops off because they have no open-ended. Where there's a wheel, there's a way. I failed. We spent pretty much half a day here at Top Rank and the wheels I got, yeah, I bought the wrong size for the rear. After we mounted and balanced them, we put them on the car and they actually contact our brand new Owens suspension. So apparently 10 and a half, 25 on the rear. My calculations were it would fit, but uh, I didn't take into account the coilovers. And they actually do fit the car, they look great. And the fitment is like spot on for the most part, but sadly inboard, it's not, it's not gonna work. You know, if we were in California, I would just throw on some spacers, push the wheels out, three mil, five mil, whatever it's gonna take, and make it work. But here they have this thing called shock end. Your wheel and tires cannot stick out past the fender at all. You can put over fenders and do all that stuff and push the wheels out if you want, but they have to be underneath the cover. We're gonna have to call an audible. The uh, stock wheels are gonna have to go back on the car today. I do have another set of wheels here that I may or may not have got for another project that are actually the right size and offset and fitment for this car. So uh, we may try to squeeze those on tomorrow. I guess the long and short of it is, one, I screwed up, two, um, I wasted half a day here in Japan trying to figure this out, and a bunch of time of all these technicians here at Top Rank who have been amazing helping us get this sorted out and uh, have stayed late tonight to try to help us get this thing back on the road so we can get back to our Airbnb safely. So huge shout out to Top Rank and the boys here for that because they would probably much rather be home with their families right now and I don't blame them. So um, we're gonna end it here um, for now and I will update you guys once we figure out what we're gonna do. All right, well that escalated quickly. Uh, the delivery driver from Top Rank arrived with our stock wheels, which I was anticipating putting the stock wheels back on the car tonight so we could go home safely to the hotel. But 
as you can see, these are the original tires from uh, 2000 and they are cracked. The guys here at Top Rank would not let me leave on these tires. They said it's unsafe and they didn't want me leaving their facility on unsafe tires. So this whole team is just basically acting like a pit crew right now. And they're literally mounting up these RG2s for me. I did buy these for another project. They're GTR fitment, so we know they fit the Stasia and they're just taking they're actually putting the tires on right now, uh, this late at night, um, so that I can go home safely on good tires. And uh, man, I, I don't need. I'm like kind of at a loss for words. I, these guys would stay home, stay here, away from their families to help me get home. It's unreal, and uh, I appreciate it more than I can ever tell any of them because none of them speak English. I'm a little emotional about it. I'll be honest. Uh, it's really kind of them, and this doesn't happen to me very often. So I'm without words at the moment, as you can tell. These guys are absolute animals. Okay, I wanna say a huge thank you to all of these guys from Top Rank Japan. This is the uh, team from Makuhari, and these guys went above and beyond for me today. Like, this probably would not happen in the US. These guys really looked after me. I didn't want us to go home on unsafe tires, so I can't thank them enough. Courtney and I can safely go on Toge Drive tomorrow without our tires breaking or blowing up. So, thank you guys. Thank you very thank much. Thank you. Yeah. And I will say, these wheels look good on the car. So maybe not as good as the Chrome, but they're gonna do the job for the rest of this trip. We come back in October, we'll have something new to put on the car, I think. But uh, thank you again, much appreciated. And uh, man, I can't say enough how much these guys did for me today.